Hi everybody, Alex Abloy here from Expert Forex and in today's video I want to take a trip down memory lane when I was still a manual trader and look at some of the techniques we used then and ones that are still very applicable to today. So one of the tools that we used in those days was a very self generating tool it's actually the multiple moving average and you can see about 16 charts on your screen using the multiple moving average and why we use this is it tells you so much about market sentiment you need to know what the market sentiment is to decide which currencies you're trading and which strategies you're trading whether you're trading trending strategies or sideways strategies or straddle set strategies where you don't know which way the market's going to go and that's how we used to do it so let me give you a brief introduction about how these charts work firstly these ones have five moving averages on them and these ones in particular have a setting of 4 8 12 16 and 20 and there's no right or wrong here you can set set them the same you can use three three six nine twelve and so on so you can actually set these charts up the way you want to the trick here is to dull out the price action so you as you can see on these charts there is no price action we've given the price action the exact same color as the chart so we don't see the price action because we only want to see the moving averages so why do we want to only see the moving averages because it tells us a lot and i'm just very briefly going to tell you a couple of things that that we used to look for firstly when the moving averages are diverging uh, diverging and i think here's most probably the best example of that when they start trading away from each other they start fanning out like that that represents firstly a trend but it also represents certainty in the market the market knows where it wants to go and it is going there very quickly so that's how we immediately knew we need to trade our trending strategies and and that's one example when the market starts consolidating then the trend is over the certainty is going out of the market the market's becoming uncertain so the moving averages move together and why is that because the fast moving averages represent the scalpers and the short-term traders the, and then the uh, long moving average represent the investors so you get all those views coming in together and saying hang on we're uncertain about the market and that's why when it's trending all those investors agree oh we're in a trend the 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 dollar strengthening the the yen is strengthening let's trade in a trend so it's actually very easy to see these things happening if you are very used to like i i used to live on these so these are the first charts that i looked at in the mornings so now you've got a feel of um, uh, how certainty is determined by these charts if it's flaring there's a lot of certainty if it's if it's coming together there's in, uh, uncertainty and the other thing that that these charts show is dominance when is their yen dominance when is their us dominant and they're not always dominant at the same time for instance uh, when the us related currencies are flaring there they are flaring uh, then and they all flare at the same time it, we say that it's the US dollar is dominant in other words it's driving the market it is strong or weak but it is certainly driving the market the other thing is the yen the yen is also often a dominant currency and here are all the yen crosses over here and here you can see them all driving in the same direction so then you know wow the way the yen is dominant don't trade against it trade with it so it was very easy in those days to trade because you could read the market and you still can read the market using these charts now what happened this week in particular was i noticed a level of uncertainty building up in the market now if you look at the um the charts you'll see all of the moving averages started to what we call not they all come together and sometimes they even make one color because they're so close like that one there that's all that's knotting there they all coming together there's a one uh, that even that one was coming together there coming together so what it's telling me hang on 
there's uncertainty in the market. And now what happens when there's uncertainty in the market? The slightest bit of news will, to will release that uncertainty and the market will then all of a sudden gain certainty. So what the market was saying is, I'm not certain about what's going to happen until the next economic announcement. And that's how we used to trade economic announcements. We knew that the market was crunching up for a big move, We're getting ready for a big move. So that's what reminded me of these uh, charts. And in fact, that's what happened. Let's go and have a look at what happened. You see all of these. I did, think, I did this on Monday and then on Tuesday there was an announcement. So let's have a look at what happened in the announcement. And boom, boom, there was the move. Look at that big move that happened. In fact, the move was a lot bigger. I just took this photo a little bit too early. But it was obviously a, a dollar dominant move because all the dollar crosses moved. You'll see that the uh, other crosses, the yen crosses, didn't really move all that much. Uh, but certainly the dollar. So it was a dollar related announcement that happened there. And interesting how we used to trade it, and, and uh, uh, this is the way it, the market works, is that before an announcement, just before an announcement, what happens is that the clever guys, the big guys, the guys with a lot of money, know more or less what's going to happen in some way or the other. So what they do, and this is how we traded these moves, is they take the market in the wrong direction. And then when the move happens, they make extra profit because they've actually bought cheap units uh, or bought or sold cheap units. So, so if you look at this, uh, this chart, for instance, can you see how the market was taken in the wrong direction? And poof, they're taken in the wrong direction. Again, all of them. It's just, it's just a consistent thing. So that's, a, that, that's how we used to trade. We didn't take the market direction before the, the uh, announcement. We took it. We knew that that would go in the opposite direction so uh, just a little we had a lot of fun in those i, I must say um, but you can still use these chart these multiple moving average charts um yes for instance the uh, weekly chart so so i have a set monthly weekly daily four hourly and hourly and i you can trade them on their own you don't need to see the price action because you're just trading market sentiment um, whether the market's trending, whether it's consolidating, whether it's reversing, you can see all of those things in these charts. Fantastic charts. They are so the best. They're not. They're not truly really trading charts. What they. What they are. Market sentiment charts that give you the confidence to buy or sell given the information that you see on these charts. And you can also then look at the long-term perspective. What are the very long-term investors looking at? What are the very short-term investors looking, like, looking at? And it gives you a really good feel of the big market in a very, very simple way. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a couple of things. I can't tell you everything. There's actually a uh, Udemy course that I did a few years ago that goes into this into a, a lot of detail. But once you have used these charts, you will never stop using them because they are so informative. So again, I hope you've learned something from this video. And from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.